Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk a bit more about growing melons indoors in hydroponic. And one of the most fun thing to do when you grow melons indoor is propagation. So if you guys haven't done propagation with melons yet, you have to do it. It's a lot of fun, it's so easy to do. And uh, if you have the space, you will, you will be having a ton of little clones that will grow into actual large melons. When you grow melons indoor, uh, it's very important that you do a lot of trimming because they can grow out of control. And when they do that, they start to drink too much nutrients and also they would block each other out. And uh, uh, also, you know, when you, um, the vines are everywhere, you know, it's, it's really hard to treat the pests and stuff like that. The side shoots have to be cut constantly. I usually just leave the main vine and I let it crawl and I would trellis it up. And uh, that's basically just that single vine and anything along the way that, uh, that are sides, I will cut off. But uh, here, uh, a new, new sides have started to grow that I haven't cut because I wanted to show you guys what to do with it. So here, these are side shoots right here, you see? So at every um, single node like this, like that, I, I've cut these off before. Uh, they will have these little sides right here. And what you do is you cut these little sides and then you clone them or propagate them. And you, you know, all you have to do is just put them in water and then you know a week or so or, or, or two weeks, they will start to root and then you can grow that into a new plant. And so um, I've done this so many times. I've done it last year. I, I did it this year and I have a few clones grown outside right now and also a few clones uh, grown inside and uh, you can actually get melons out of them so uh, it's it's a lot of fun so I recommend you try it so let's go ahead and take a look at a few clones that I have inside right now and uh, you see the process Okay, here are some of the clones that I have already started and again, it's very easy to do. You just cut the uh, the sides of the, uh, the vines and then you just put it into a bottle of water just like that and it will root. You see, there's roots right there and then uh, this one here, lots and lots of roots. This one here grew so many roots that I've already started feeding it hydroponic solutions and when you do that they will start to take off and look at this fruit right here so I just pollinated it that's the that's a female flower and, uh, sorry that is the male flower and that is the female flower so when you grow them inside you need to pollinate them and uh, I'm just uh, leaving this here for now I'm gonna make space for it uh, soon and then uh, I will transplant those but um, yeah it's it's super easy you, you just put it in water and just wait it doesn't take very long and it does you know the the rooting on its own you don't have to do anything it just needs some light and then here is another one that I propagated and this one I actually placed in the uh, the hydroponic uh, system over there and look at that it took off and grow like uh, just a regular um, melon and I have two fruits already on that uh, see that that flower there is a fruit and there's another fruit right there so once uh, those whichever one grows uh, first uh, and get big I'm gonna chop the rest off because I'm only gonna allow one one fruit for this plant and so that it's grown in my little tent right there so uh, guys do that it's very easy and fun and you have like a ton of melons in very little time without having to start over from seed so I hope you will try it out. And then if you do, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.